Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few settings that'll allow you to change the highlight colors within AutoCAD. This includes highlighting text and when selecting objects. These settings can be used for aesthetic reasons or to help things stand out a little bit more while you're working and streamline your process. All right, so first up is when you select an object, like this one here, you can see that it is all highlighted in blue. Now, if we zoom out here, you can see the same will be said of most objects within AutoCAD. When selected, they're going to display a highlighted color. Now, this setting can be turned on and off by typing in highlight. So you can see here if I type in highlight and change the setting to zero and hit enter, when I select an object, it's no longer highlighted with that bright blue color by default. Again, you can turn that on and off by typing in highlight, hit enter, and change it between one for on and zero for off. You can see I've just changed it back to on, and now you can see that my object highlights when you select it. Now, some people don't like this. It can be a little cluttered. Maybe it's just too much going on on the screen, or the color matches maybe the background or some of the hatching you're using, so you can't tell exactly what's being highlighted. To adjust that, you can type in options to go to your options menu, and from there, choose the selection tab here, and you can change the selection effect color. So for our example, I'll change it to magenta quickly and hit okay. You can see that all of my text is now magenta. We're gonna go back to our options menu here and I can change that back to blue or default if that's what you prefer. But you're allowed to change this up to any color you'd like using the select color option here. You can choose from these and adjust as needed. I like mine the default, although I will turn it off occasionally depending on what I'm doing. I'm gonna apply that, hit okay, and you can see it's back to highlighting in blue. And remember, you can turn that effect off completely by simply typing in highlight and changing it to zero. Now, the next setting for highlighting things that I'm gonna show you is highlighting specific text. So I've double clicked inside this M text object. So I've got a bunch of text here and you can see when I drag and highlight a piece of text or a bunch of the text, it's highlighted in yellow. Now this color can also be tweaked and changed depending on your preferences and your background colors. You're gonna want something that contrasts easily, but also isn't too bright or difficult to read the text in behind it, which this yellow kind of is. So you can right click and change up this color by going down to the editor settings flyout and choosing text highlight color. From here, you can change using this drag tool here, or you can go to a single uh, color from the index uh, palette here. I'm just gonna change this one up a little bit. We'll use this kind of light cyan blue and hit okay. Now you can see when I highlight text, it's gonna come in that blue color. So again, this is mostly personal preference and aesthetic, but it can also help with eye strain and longevity in general, not staring at bright colors. You can see I'm using kind of the dark background in general, and I've tweaked a lot of the colors to what I like, mostly grays and blacks with white for text or a brighter color for text so it's easier to read. If you'd like to change the color of the highlighting when you're selecting objects, you can also do that. So clicking and dragging to the right is going to have the window selection uh, color. So that's this blue color here. And a window selection basically means that only things that are entirely within your window, so within this blue rectangle, will be selected. You can see that the walls that are in there, but not entirely within there, did not get selected. Dragging to the left is going to create a green selection area box. And this is going to select everything that the crossing or selection area box touches. So you can see it's going to select these walls and these dimensions, even though I'm not entirely selecting them, they're just touching my crossing selection box. Now to change those colors, which are by default blue and green, you can do that as well from the options menu here. We're going to type in options. 
and go to the selection tab again. And down here on the bottom right, under visual effect settings, you can now change up these window selection colors. You can change them from the default to any color you'd like for either one. You can also change some of the other settings within it, how how much uh, opacity each one has. So that's how transparent or how much you can see through it. Uh, you can also select which objects are going to be highlighted when you're previewing that selection. By default, it's objects on locked layers and X riffs are excluded from being selected, but you can add more like hatches, multi-line text and other settings there. By changing those, hitting OK and hitting OK here, you're going to be able to change up that color quickly and easily. So that's all for today's video. I wanted to share a few tips and tricks for tweaking those highlight colors. If you like this video and you want to learn more, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. I'll put that link up above and down below. Both will be discounted for viewers such as yourself. You can also sign up for my email newsletter where I deliver weekly tips and tricks at cadintentions.com. Also, I'll put a link down below in the description to get that as well. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and cheers.